I'm Nikki, and I blog over at homemadeville.com. And today I'm going to show you a very easy um, decorative box craft that you can do for under $10. So I'm joining Crafty Hangouts, and our sponsor is Consumer Crafts. So I'm going to show you what I made from Consumer Crafts, and we'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So the bottom box is the unfinished version that we're going to work on today, but the top two boxes I've already finished. These are little nesting boxes, and they're perfect for your office or um, your anywhere in your home, actually. They're great for a gift. You can put a little ribbon around them and put a different gift in each box. So we're going to show you how we did it and what we did. So I'm going to start by showing you the top box. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. The top box. I basically created, and I'm going to scoot this down for you, I want to hot glue it later, but I want to show you what I did first. So I basically painted on the stripes, and then I braided rope to create a little, um, where I'm going to get a little bit closer, so hopefully you can see the um, rope. And I basically did a French braid, but I made three pieces of string per piece of rope. So I just used regular string, made, got it into nine strings, and then braided three in each section to create the rope. And then I used washi tape for the top. Sometimes washi tape peels for me, so um, I just want to go ahead and tell you that it's very simple just to glue stick it down on each end, and then that will keep it from peeling back up if your surface is not adhering exactly like you want it to. For the top, I used a stencil. This is actually a Mod Podge Rocks stencil, and I believe that can be found on Consumer Crafts as well. So we've got that, stenciled it, and there you go. The boxes are on Consumer Crafts. You can get those for, I think it's $6.97 for all three boxes, so it makes it very affordable. You can use one box or all three. The second one that I did is this one, and it is a box that I just created by painting it gold. I painted the top and the bottom gold, solid gold, to go with the stripes that are on the top box and will soon be on the other box. And then I put a little, um, this is like a cardstock embellishment uh, chipboard, and you can find these on Consumer Crafts as well. There's a whole little thing of stickers. They have all kinds. And um, so there we have the little sticker. This one's a little anchor to go with our rope and nautical theme. And then this is the one we're going to be working on. You can see that I have already taken and put my basic painter's tape on the box. So we're going to paint a little gold stripe right in here, and then later we're going to add in the little bow. So let's go ahead and show you how I did it. So it's already painted. Now what I'm using is Precious Metals. Um, I just got this at a craft store. Um, and it is just a little gold leafing paint. So you take that. You open it if you can. Ta-da, it's open. I'm going to just put a little bit on the sponge, which is going to be hard to see what it is. Just going to put a little bit on the sponge, and then what I do is dab it onto the little lid over here to kind of get a little excess off. Now, Consumer Crafts has some amazing paints on there as well, so if you're not looking for gold leafing, then you can certainly use They have some deco art and all those kinds of paints on there. You're basically going to start by putting the paint on. You're just going to go all the way around. It doesn't matter if you go over the top of the um, little painter's tape because the painter's tape is there. And I'm going to keep that line straight. So I make sure that I'm going in the same direction each time. So it's really very, very simple to do. Now, once you're done painting this onto your box, then you can go ahead and let it dry, and then remove the painter's tape. So we're going to keep in mind today that I won't be removing the painter's tape, but on my blog, homemadeville.com, I will have a picture of the finished product, and probably at the beginning of this video as well, I'll get a, a picture to put 
of the finished product so that you can see all three of the nesting bowls completed. Now you can see we're almost to the end here. So just have a little bit more. It's a very quick craft. I mean, I would say you could probably do this in 10 minutes. You could probably get one box done. It might take you a little bit longer to do all three, especially if you include the time it takes to braid the rope. So I'm giving a little homage here to my friends Angie from the Country Sheep Cottage and Carolina Moore at Craft Moore because they do lots of crafts and crafty hangouts together completing their crafts in 10 minutes or less. So giving them a little run for their money today because I'm pretty sure this one could fit right in with their awesome crafts. So here you can see I've painted on the strap. Now like I said it's looking a little rough right now because I have not yet removed my painter's tape and that will be the next thing. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do just to show you and I recommend waiting for the paint to dry but basically I found where the where the box meets. I don't know if you can see that in there. Not really, but there's a line right there. So I don't want that to be at the front. So I'm going to flip my box so that that's in the back. And then I wanted to put this nifty little bow right in the center. And so you can see I have a whole little pack of bows here. And I just took one. It's just a little felt bow. And it has little sticky stuff on it. Now you can also hot glue it. That's probably a better idea because as I'm taking it off, it's your thing. So uh, just to give you the effect, I'm going to find me some sort of glue that I can use with it. How about for now we use tape? Don't you just love live crafting? You never know what you're going to get here. Okay, so basically I'll go in and hot glue this later, but for now, just to show you what it's going to look like, I'm going to put a little tape. Oh, yes, we're getting fancy up in here today. So we've got the front of our box, and I want it in the center. I'm going to put it maybe right there. Now, the next thing that I want to do with this box is take the lid, and put some rope. Now for this rope, I used two sections and French braided the rope. So let me put it up here. You can see it. I've got two, two little ropes in each one and French braided it. So I'm going to put that around here. Also this you would hot glue on, but so that you don't have to sit there and watch me do all that. I'm just going to tie it on so you can get the effect of what it would look like when the box is finished. So I'm going to tie it. The main thing you want to make sure is that as you're gluing it on that it is not twisted as it goes around. So straighten that out. I'm going to tie it for now and then later I'll hot glue it on there. Make sure you position it where you want. I kind of want it right in the middle so I'm going to lift it up a little. And then our little box is complete. You'll have a gold line. Once again, this part will come off and you'll have just a gold line right in the center with a bow that doesn't want to stick. So it'll be just like that. And you can add the other boxes and see how absolutely adorable it is. Okay, so there you have it. All you need to do is hot glue the rope and the little um, bow together and you have a whole little set of nesting boxes that are perfect for any room or occasion. So thanks so much for coming. I hope you will like the video and like my YouTube channel which is The Mickey Channel over at YouTube and check out all the great videos from all kinds of amazing bloggers over at CraftyHangouts.com. You can find lots of things that are inspired by consumer crafts products, and they're all going to be under $10. Thanks so much, and come back and visit me over at homemadeville.com. Have a great day.